Cali was doing it big. Not only that, it was a Soul Olympics, of course, we were joining. Um, my man, Johnson. Ben Johnson. Yeah. B. Carlos got caught for steroids. Damn. Damn. Uh, uh, man, so good. Man, so I mean, Damn. The, big, the biggest thing I remember about that race was his pants. Not for that, too. But I remember when he won that race, how he played Carl Lewis out. He beat Carl Lewis, because Carl Lewis was smashing the four years earlier. And Played Carlos out. Carlos tried to congratulate me. Played my kid off me. You know what I'm saying? And so it, it, it became apparent to me that this dude wanted to beat Carlos not just as a competitor, but he really had something personal against him. Right. So when he right. showed up, that he tested positive for uh, you know banned substances, it didn't surprise me because it seemed like he wanted victory more than anything, and he would have done anything to get. Now educate me on that. You said he beat him four years earlier. No, I'm saying. He, Carl Lewis was smashing on everybody four years right. old. And, 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 and four when he had long on the top and nothing on the sides. Ah, yeah, 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 he had the one endorsement from Carefree Curl. The yeah. man winning four gold medals and one endorsement. I already thought that was bullshit. But when you go on and say long on the top and nothing on the sides, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's what you get from that. See exactly. what you think about uh, ben Johnson. Well, let me tell you. First of all, with the curl, I mean, I had a curl in, in 81. You know what I'm saying? They used to call me booty naps, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's for real. As a matter of fact, this fool over here is the one who was doing it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, man. You know, Ben Johnson, steroids. I mean, I used to trip, you know, when I see the pictures. He was, like, you know, Yo. running. I mean, his shoulder muscle was just like... Man, it was huge. Thought it was a football helmet. Like, oh else. man, you know yeah. what? As a yeah. DB, I, I, you know what? I would have to really worry about dealing with somebody like that when their muscles are just. But I'm glad to know it was Royce and not no, you know, real stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, right. But now check it out. Hey, Doug wins in the Super Bowl. Now he made history, playing the Super Bowl, passed for the most yards ever. A black quarterback. Um, he's a, um, an assessor of Eddie Robinson. That's God right. bless his soul. Rest in peace, Ram. Yeah, I mean, what did you guys feel about that moment? Wait, I look, I looked at that like, you know, eventually it was gonna happen, right? You know what I'm saying? And it, it was good that it happened when it did. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just happy that it happened, rather than happen in 2000, whatever. Exactly. But the biggest thing I got from that was Doug Williams played it way differently than I thought. He played it like it's all good. You know, I'm just going about my business. It's all good. I won. I'm the MVP. Hey, no problem. Why shouldn't I be? You know what I'm saying? It was like no shock to him, and he felt like he, he belonged. And that was the impressive part about it, that it was no like, oh, I can't believe it. This is great. He was like, yeah, I did it. And, you know I can saying? tell you some incredible facts with that. Doug Williams had a root canal before the Super Bowl. Hey, the day before the Super Bowl, he had a root canal. Not only that, do you know after the Super Bowl, you know, you figure the endorsements you get on going to Disneyland. Disneyland. He didn't get the MVP. And the MVP went to Timmy Smith, who later was out of football, what have you. Right. Doug Williams got one endorsement from Atari Electronics for $100,000. Now, Atari was becoming defunct at that time. Right. So I thought that was amazing. And also, Doug Williams, you mentioned with the Grambling uh, situation, Doug Williams was fifth in the Heisman voting in 1977. If I'm not mistaken, so it's been a long time long coming. Time coming for and like that. you said, with Doug, it seemed like it just was natural. Yeah, and, and you know what? It was natural. I mean, you can tell just by the way he was playing. I mean, that team wouldn't have done anything without him. Right. You know, the MVP, that was a flu game. That was obvious for the, for the rest of his career. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's no disrespect. Oh, hey, everybody here wish they could have ran 225 yards in the Super Bowl. Right. right. But, you know, hey, he did that, but it, that was nothing else. Doug Williams carried that team that year with the help of some great receivers, the Hogs on the line, yeah. you know, and all of that. And he had to beat them because Jay Schrader was an ugly man. Oh, oh, yeah. and let me say, let me say this one last thing. Earlier that year, Jay Schrader was in the game. He was the starter, and Jay Schrader got got hurt on the field. And Doug Williams went to take the field, and Jay Schrader waved Doug off and kicked his ass off. No, no, I'm staying in the game. Doug Williams went down with that knee injury where he slid, remember he jumped right, right back right, right. and he slid under. I loved it when in fact he weighed him off the field. Right. Like, no, no, you stay on the sidelines, I'm having this. That was one of my favorite moments of that game.